Teams with the level of achievement of the Chinese teams might be easy to suggest that it's a little bit boring or a little bit one way, but actually my view is that once you see the inside track, yes, it's a big sport in China. Yes, they've got lots of players, but the amount of work, effort, attention to detail, focus, the training regime, the improvements, the, the developments, the effort that's put in overall by the Chinese system in the academies, in the centers of excellence in Beijing, and with the support team that goes, of course, further than players and coaches. It's everybody around. Nutrition, physiotherapists, massage. It's just phenomenal, and they really are well-deserving of their number one place in both the men's and the women's game. Absolutely, I believe it is safe to say that the state of Chinese table tennis is the state of the game itself. Chinese probably all the time the first to develop new shots, new tactics, introducing them into the game. That was a good serve by Oh sang to be honest. Maybe she followed through with a little more determination. The Korean player. Could have, should have, would have. Point to Marlon. Once more, it was the smoothness of motion that makes Oh sang game so entertaining to watch. Right from the serve, he went into that flick with the forehand. No transition anyway, and now he's leading, assisted well, by the net. Yeah, and the body language of Juicy Hook there in the, at the break, he seemed to be suggesting flicks. So Oh sang -ung. Maybe that's the tactic. Maybe they're going to try to flick everything. And again, backhand that time. Not too sure from that camera angle whether Ma Long's service just drifted a little bit, but nevertheless, Oh San Un, positive on the return. Gives himself a two-point advantage at the midway point in this third game. So perhaps adopting the tactics by his bench, flicking the ball at Ma Long. And again... That was cleverly done too. He waited until Ma Long was well, stepping around and then he played right into his body. Look here. Just a fraction longer. Oh. Marlon couldn't react in time. Translating to 6 3, surprisingly, for Oh Sang Un. Should have flicked that one again. Double touch, too high. Float. Marlon in like a rocket and plays a rocket. And Oh Sang Un knows it. Expression on his face says it all. So what will Osanun do on the receive this time? Usually bread and butter for Osanun blocks like that. But the amount of spin that Malong's generating, even too much for Osanun. Would have been quite a decent placement of a timeout now. For the Koreans, decide not to. And again. Easy Malong ball, ties it. And as you say, Sebastian, a bit of telepathy there. Are you on the same wavelength as Yunam Q? Seems to be the way, although I have pulled, would have pulled the time out one point earlier. So interesting, the flick seems to be the tactic, and certainly not to push or go short, short. Flick to Ma Long, get into the rally, but I think he's got to get out quicker. He played long, two receives there, perhaps not coming out, maybe underestimating the spin from Ma Long. So he's gonna go long, he needs to get ready for the Ma Long ball. A few ball tricks gone on there. There's the spin. Is that still spinning from one of Ma Long's forehands? Probably is since Tuesday. That's when we first <laughs> seen this angle. 
So last ditch effort here for the Korean. Let's see if he flicks. Let's see if he gets in over the table and back out again in time to control the block. We've also seen the capabilities of Oh sang -un. If he gets enough time to set up properly, his shots are just amazing. But Ma Long eating up the time Oh sang -un has in this match. Crucial point always after the timeout, re-establishing the lead of the Korean player. 7-6. I think even when you get a ball like that, sometimes you're so unsure of what Malong's going to do or the speed and the spin that's come on. Even when you get the chance like Usanun had there, and even there, first top spin, you just don't find the time to convert the winner. Malong knows that if he plays that first top spin, the ball can only come back in a couple of ways, all of which he's prepared for. for the slam dunk here. Good clutch <laughs> reaction. That's what he's good at, eh, Sebastian? Now, uh, Ma Long's cross with himself. He slaps the table. He knows he chose the wrong way. Could have gone to Usan Young's body or faded it down the line. Obviously, with a long reach, the tall player from Korea should have gone for a wider angle here, Ma Long. He's popped up Ma Long. Xu Xin off his seat. Watch his reaction here. Oh, it's a strong clenched fish. There's Xu Xin up on his feet. I just have so much respect for the way in which these guys, and of course the Chinese girls too, go about their business. To be world number one, danger of being complacent, lazy, to not care oh. perhaps as much. <laughs> Never the case with these guys. Every gold medal is like their first. It's amazing. Absolutely right. China, meanwhile, on their way to the finals. As far as this match is concerned, two match points for Ma Long. 2-0 up, 8-10 from the perspective of Scotty Pippen. Can he turn this around? He was close there at 8-8. Eight -eight. Good spinning ball to the body. Good receive as well from Usanun. And Lu Guliang this time calling Ma Long back for a timeout. That is the experience of a world and Olympic champion. Knows when to pull the break. Usanun was about to build up momentum there. Very important point, obviously. To save the first match point, but one more remaining with a reinvigorated Ma Long at the table, no doubt. So Saturday evening here in Dortmund, local time at half past seven. What a fantastic way to spend a Saturday evening watching world-class table tennis in a world-class venue. Everything put together fantastically well by the German Table Tennis Association. ITTF, fantastic event. Look at the technique on the backhand, that still amazes me. Smooth, short motions from the wrist and the lower part of his arm. Very flat, he keeps the racket over the ball. And the spin just digs into the table on the other side. Oh, sang -un. Can he save another match point? He can! Whoa! That was a bit over-eager by Marlon. Sometimes he does the double touch that time. 
He's come right in over the table, and as you say, Sebastian, perhaps rushed the forehand flick a little bit. But maybe he's just keen to chalk up the first match in this overall match in the semi-final. Sign of a true champion. Might have lost the last two points, but still confident and committed to flick that serve of Osanuns. And once again, match point, Ma Long. The counter topspin there, Ma Long. Beautiful technique. Just moves his body out of the way. Ma Lin there. 